Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, so it's festival playlist today for Forza Horizon 4. So as usually, I'm going to show you the Forza Ton and also the cars that I took for the championships. So let's have a look. We need to have a Forza Challenge that was a classic muscle car or a muscle car that you need to go to Broadway. So you just go to your car type and I think I took... A classic muscle you just go into one of these cars and then here you go at Broadway that's down here there you go just put your car somewhere here and you can make a picture and that's it then the Forzaton shop ah now it's changed uh, before it was the one of last week you have the 1992 Toyota Supra and the uh, Ravington that are nice cars if you want it. That's a nice car to do uh, races with. And this one you can actually drift good with it. You have an emote and then the Mexican head dance horn. Now let's have a look at the Forzaton. We need to own and drive the Nissan GTR of 2017. We need to win a road series on the Goliath. We need to have three drift tap skill combos and then uh, three daredevil skills okay so let's go to the goliath now i have a blueprint for that uh, that's also very old i'll show you the code so let's go to solo custom event and this one it's 0 0.5 kilometers it is this code just type it in and you have the Goliath done in 10 seconds. Then, since you are here, what you need to do... Um, let's go back. Drift tap skill combos. Well, basically what you need to do... We are here, so let's turn around. You have a nice wall here, so just drive slowly. Tap the handbrake and then, oh, wait, hold on. And slowly tap the back of the car against the wall. Uh, it's not working very well today for me. One second. Uh, need a little bit more speed. There you go. And then you just drift and tap the wall. Well, this is not going good today. Here are other walls. We will take... Here is, for example, a wall. Well, basically it is, you drift and then you tap the wall. Here also, drift and tap the wall and you will get a drift tap, as you can see. That's it. Then, the daredevil, you need to pass traffic very fast uh, and then you will get the daredevil skill uh, with this car is very easy it's a fast car so stable so you just go off the highway on the highway and then you just drive next to the cars and then you will see that daredevil will come there you go after the awesome awesome pass you will get it so that's it for the Forzaton. There you go. Then let's go have a look at the trial, the championships and the trial. So for the trial, that's uh, where was it? That was here. That's actually my test track. You need a 800 classic racers. So let's have a look. I actually had a lot of fun doing that um my team was completely ramming the crap out of me but it was fine now you have several choices i drove with the lotus cortina i had a lot of fun with that that car is really fast and good um it's not extremely grippy but if you brake on time you will be very fast you also have these two here um one is a barn find 
that's also a very good car so i would recommend that also um the daytona problem is it's an 8 million car so if you don't have the money or you don't have the car it's a little bit yeah bad this one also not a bad car um, but my preference went out to the cortina and then if you have this car the barn finds you can use also that car now what did we win from that we win the ferrari 250 lm this one next one is the showcase um it's real wheel drive taxi didn't have much problems uh, with it it was it doesn't steer very well so you have to go off throttle uh into the, in before the corner otherwise it won't steer then let's have a look the playgrounds what do we need here we need a manufacturer audi a 800 so what do i have in the audis let's go have a look now i do not have many cars tuned for that so let's go and see um tt is not bad rs6 not bad the avant also r5 also but the thing is where is it it's here so it needs to be an audi that um is pretty stable on that with dirt tires so let's go back to audi there you go so what do you have basically this one i think if you do this in a class that will be a very good fast car i have it in b class it's already fast but i think that would be a very good choice to take in playgrounds now what do you win from the playgrounds you win the audi s1 then let's go to the next championship into the wilderness there you have that six wheeled car that doesn't steer uh a 800 extreme off-road it is cross country but as you can see it's here that's not really a cross country um but then again if they call it that way it's fine so let's have a look at cross um extreme off-road now the bauer always a good car uh, i always recommend that then you have the buyer truck you need to be able to handle it uh, it's fast the trail cat the trail cat's also a very fast car but you need to handle it rally fighter is an overall good car um this one is that's not an a class there you go um but actually i recommend to take this one i tuned the car with the 6.2 liter in it um i didn't like it so i went back into the tuning i put a stock engine with a turbo on it and actually it was very fast so my preference actually goes to this one the helix the at38 very good very stable car and very fast so that was my preference uh this is also not bad so then the second one i will take the brawler the bowler and then the trial cats and the baya but actually this one was really nice to drive with i had a lot of fun with it now what do you win you win the new car that i will show you at the end of the video then here the new rules that's one of my favorites the manufacturer mclaren in s1 i always said mclarens are my favorites um i'll put the s1 on and then go to mclaren they always drive nice uh the car that i took was a 12c it's one of my favorites this one well actually the f1 and the 12c are both my favorites because they are really good now what do i recommend well the f1 the 12c 
the 650 is also a very good car and if you have car pass this is also a very good car but i took the 12c because i really like that car now what can we win from that we win a 2019 speed trail then hot hatch time retro hot hatch c600 so let's have a look at CL take D also. Retro Hot Hatch. Now you have a few options. Um, and to be honest, I used the first, I used this one, the Golf GTI. Very nice car. Then I used this one. That went a little bit too good. And I went used this one and that went also very good. So basically my recommendation is Peugeot Rally. I didn't even see the Dravitas anymore. Then the Fiesta is a little bit faster than the Golf. But actually I used all three of them and I won everything. But the Peugeot Rally it's like, I don't know, well it's a rally car and it acted like a rally car. Very good in steering, very good in everything. It's overall for me the best car. Now, what do you win from that? A classic race suit that I've been wearing for a long time. So, let's go to the stunts. The first one here, it's, well, that's a speed trap. That's very easy. Just take the muzzler. Um, I'm gonna take my dirt tuned muzzler because it is still grippy on the roads and we need to do a jump on dirt. So I hope there's no traffic. Please, no traffic. Well, that was very nice of uh, Forza to give me no traffic. So that's this one. And then you have, where was it? Oh, there it is. Then you have this one, also very easy. Um, you can do it both ways. Either you break or you just wall ride if you do not care. I'm not a fan of wall riding, but it's just a stunt. So you can just wall ride it and forward gear doesn't matter and the car just pulls up again or you just shift back and you have it so if you don't want to bother just drive it like that. That's very simple. And then this is why I choose my dirt tuned car. I actually made a video about every danger sign what's the best way to do it. Um, so if you want to look at that, that would be very nice. I spent a lot of time editing on that. So here, as you can see, there's a little hole in the forest and you see the house. Now I have everything off. I have simulation on. I have no traction control. So it's a little bit tricky with the muzzle for me. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, well, that's sad. I hit um, the thingy. I hit something I have no clue what that was but basically that's what you have to do I'll do it again there you go now if I put traction control on it's way easier this is actually what I had yeah it's it's not going well for me well basically it doesn't matter, that is the road that you have to take and then you fly... Nah, I'm gonna try it one more time because I al there's always something with stunt when I'm recording. I actually did it the first time and now I am completely messing up. But then again, nobody's perfect, so... It's here, you jump next to the house and then you go... Whoa! 
Okay, never mind. You know the roads. Um, just put traction control on and you don't have problems with it. Ha. Huh. Okay, so let's have a look at the new car. So it's a Hennessy. There you go. And this is the new car. And as you can see, um, here are no new cars at this at 50 and 80%. So this car is a new car. Now I looked at this. Um, it's like, I don't know what engine is in it. Well, I do know. The thing is, it doesn't steer. But it has some sort of uh, airplane engine, as you can see how it pulls up. I'll do a, try to do a barrel roll for the fun. Well, I guess not. The, so the car is very fast. Ooh, but it doesn't steer. I'll quickly go to the tuning of the car. So as you can see, you have a racing V6, a racing 6.2 and the stock. So that's basically 844, 866 and well, I have a lot of power under the hood. The thing is, you can't do much about the steering. You can do put this on. Wheels, you can only make them, well, I actually made them bigger for the fun no it's for the picture uh, you can put some stuff on like this uh, that's also on don't need that stable enough and then here everything is on and you have s1870 but the car doesn't steer it's just extremely fast i guess if you use it for uh, cross country or dirt that you can actually handbrake the car um but i don't know i need to uh look at the car itself um it's like uh, the mercedes the 6x6 also didn't steer so basically that's it well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll be streaming tonight at 8.30 CST on Twitch. Hopefully everybody comes and have a look. And I hope my car choices helped you get through the championships and also for the Forzaton. Okay, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.